got a song in my head. It's by a band called Metallica. What is it? Oh yeah, Master of Puppets. What are the what are the words? Master of Puppets. I'm pulling your strings. Weirdos, weirdos, boils and ghouls. I've got a banger for you today. <laughs> How are we doing? I hope you're all well. I've got some issues. And I don't mean my alcohol and food intake. Mm -mm. You see, recently, the debunking community gained a new member. Then we lost that member. Then we gained that member. Then we lost him. Then we gained him. Then we lost him. Then he went to gaming. Then he came back. Exploring with Danny. I mean, come on. He brought out a video and I recorded a full um, reaction to it. And I'm like, while I can't forgive certain things he's done in his past, I can be on board for him taking out some fake channels. And the channels he listed? Ooh, Caspersite, Lenny and Ben, Jasco, Dark Arts, Exploring with Fighters, Proving Demons. Oh my gosh. Woo. He said words to the effect of Caspersite is doing nothing but promoting fake videos and it takes away from the good guys. And I was 100% like, Go on, Danny. The bunkers needed that. And then his video disappeared. And I'm like, Why? Then he was back. Then it disappeared. Then he was back. And this has been going on for the last week. He has changed to a gaming channel, to a debunking channel, to uh, I'm taking my channel down. He, he's all over the place. Danny, whatever is going on with you, and despite everything I have said about you, I hope you get your issues sorted out. You seem to be struggling. Um, After what you said in a live stream about your personal life, I ain't going to take the piss. You've gone through enough. And I hope you find peace. And I, I, I genuinely, I hope you find whatever it is you're looking at you're looking for and i hope you settle because you've got some people worried about you if i'm honest now then danny then did a second video when he goes into a place that he has been before and said this place i've said is haunted and it's not this is how you do the wire this is how you do the emf this is how you do this this is how you do that in fact look i'll open this cupboard door there's my wire tied on the bottom from the last time i was here with dark arts oh danny's dropping nukes and then he deleted that then he put it back up. Then he deleted it. You know where I'm going. And initially, I was just like, do you know what? This is just Danny not knowing where he wants to take his channel. He's done with the paranormal for reasons that I understand. He wants to do debunking. I said to him in a live stream, because despite the rumours, me and Danny have never spoken offline, away from the, pri uh, the public. We have never spoken away from the public chats on our my videos on my channels on my live streams and i've commented on exactly two of his videos and they were both debunking videos i th assumed it was just da danny having a funny five minutes or maybe he felt bad about the channels he was shouting at because there's a personal interest in what's going on with those channels he's worked with all of these channels he knows they're faking but he did mention people like casper site jasco he hasn't worked with these people but he knows they're faking or at least promoting the fake. I couldn't work out what was going on. And then of all people, Laney and Ben. Well, I say Laney and Ben. It's Ben. Because for some reason, he is now streaming and filming from a teenage girl's bedroom. That sounds worse than it really is. It's his nie niece, sister. It's family. It's family. Where is Laney? Why aren't you anywhere near your fiance? And your baby. Now you've said it's for business, but this is going on weeks. Did she finally have enough of your shit? Did she come home from work one day and go, Beardo's debunked the shit out of us again, you idiot. And you called me fat face. Out! While I am making jokes about it, I would never, ever like to see somebody's personal relationships break down. At the same point though, with the damage you pair have done to people's personal lives, you kind of deserve it. I see. A thumbnail. Ooh, this is good. It's got Caspersite and Jasco, and it says exposed on it. And Danny posted a video with a, with a clip taken from a chat he had with Laney and Ben. I was like, holy shit, what are you doing on there? Bro, 
if you're gonna be debunking, don't go on their channel. That's the worst place to go. But if if you want more subscribers and viewers, I suppose make nice for them. That's called selling out. Sorry. Anyway, enough of that. And then I see that I'm waiting for that video to come out. I am waiting for Lenny and Ben, sorry, Ben's video about this thumbnail to come out. And it doesn't. Why has that not come out? Then Ben posts a video, Casper Sighton Jasko, Yasko, whatever his name is. I'm sorry. Ooh, I wonder why. This is Ben. In case you didn't know. In a teenager's bedroom. Weird. I've made a huge mistake, so... <laughs> You've made plenty. So, for anyone that isn't aware, over the past 72 hours-ish, um, a certain YouTube channel has decided that they are going to change up their content and instead of posting what they regularly do, they're going to start debunking the paranormal. I actually reached out to the creator themselves to try and uh, get an understanding of what was going on and we had a video chat. And I was going to be posting that today. I put together a thumbnail um, for the video, you know, to generate a little bit of interest in it and to show people what was going to be coming. But it didn't come out. Um, and this was that thumbnail. Obviously, as you can see, there are a lot of huge names. Wait, let me stop you there, Ben. Um, this video we're watching now has the same thumbnail. So you're still clickbait. And by the way, while we're talking about clickbait, Ben, that big scram there on your neck, that's not what happened at all. You've ripped off the twins there because they pull that shit this really haunted haunting is over no it's not he's doing even more content on his channel and he's brought in writers to do stuff away from his house this is all clickbait you couldn't get your paranormal fake shit right so now you're getting your clickbait wrong well done bravo you t nearly said bad word in fact i did say a bad word i just cut it in that thumbnail and i posted it to twitter and to begin with, it got a lot of traction, a lot of people were excited, a lot of people were curious about what was going on. Then I was. I again, a little bit later on, and, um, you know, a couple of people from the thumbnail, Jasko and Casper Sight, had seen it, and Ooh. they left their thoughts on it, and I didn't realise how much it would have affected them, or caused upset, because the thumb... So, what? If big channels get upset, that's absolutely fine. But when you trample my friend Papal into the ground, when you try to shut me down when I'm under 1k subscribers, that's fine. When you trample all over your psychic medium, when you trample all over your paying members, eight ninety nine a month, a small amount. That's a huge amount. You're a grateful prick. But because old Casper Sight and Jasko, they get annoyed. Oof. I'm sorry. I'll take my video down. A video that could have got huge views. Absolutely massive. I'll take that down. Can't upset them because they're big channels. But it gets worse. Thumbnail compared to what the video truly is, in hindsight, does it come across as, you know, this person's going to be calling out these creators. So that's why they were put on the thumbnail. Um, you know, because when I had a chat with this creator, these names did crop up, you know, the likes of Jasko, Kaspersite. But from the chat, it was it there. It was a very positive chat. The the one that I had with this creator who was going to start this. Exploring with Danny. Say his name for f God's sake. You can't push you out of it now. You've been up his ass. You've been up Ghost Theory's ass. Basically, anyone I've argued with for the last seven or eight months, this guy has gone after them to get them on board because I'm a threat. Because whether he will admit it or not. I was probably r largely responsible for all of their ghosty wosty shit getting pulled and them stopping doing it because I was relentless. I kept debunking them after I caught them treating people like absolute dog shit. I went at them hard and they deserved it and I have zero regrets about it. Oh, but Beardo, what if you've cost them money? Good. Good. I hope I've cost them money because all they have done is fleece vulnerable people of their money and it annoyed the shit out of me. And now this clickbait and this bullshit is annoying me. But it gets worse again. These names were mentioned. He said that he wasn't going to, like, he was going to look at them, but now he's not going to. It's more the people that he's collabed with in the past um, because there's a lot of grudges being held and there's a, it's, it's very revenge-based um, from what I could gather. But I thought because, you know, 
it's not just from what you can gather. Everybody knows that these are the channels that Danny worked with, that Danny showed how to fake stuff with because they were his words. That's what they sa he said. That's what he said to you. He also had another video out where he was walking around showing how to pull the string to close a door in a haunted house. And he said, Casper site promotes fake videos. Jasko is a faker. But you've skipped over that. So either you haven't watched his content which is pretty much what you're doing for a lot of your stuff. You're just grabbing cool titles, making cool thumbnails, and then going, look at this, massive news. But you seem to know next to nothing about the subject. It's like you watch the first five minutes of the video, get what you need, and then you're out. Because these names were mentioned, I will include them within the video, or within the thumbnail at least. And I can understand how it might have potentially looked to these people who were involved on the thumbnail. And, you know, Casper Sight and Jasko initially um, commented on it. Jasko said, honestly, man, feeding into the drama is the last thing anyone should do. Knowing most creators in the paranormal community, all we care about is making videos and spreading positivity. Everyone should just roll their eyes and carry on. That's rich. Because every time I've watched the sheep debunk you, all I have done is roll my eyes at the shite content you're putting out. Lol. And then Casper site actually responded to this tweet saying, I agree, people that spread shit and ruin it for others only get it back tenfold at some point down the line. Let me say that f again. Casper site said, I agree. People that spread shit and ruin it for others only get it back tenfold at some point down the line. Casper site, meet Mr. Tenfold. You have sat there with slapped ham and gone, oh, the bunkers. The party poopers, oh, the bunkers, fucking anyone can do that. No, they can't. That's why there's only five of us. And that's why two other debunking channels popped up and then disappeared really fast after. A lot of people can't take the heat of debunking. I can. You really, really gripped my shit when you started banging on about debunkers, I roll. Like we don't have a right to an opinion. Like we don't have the right to show they're clearly fake. But then you say... Oh, you know, they are entitled, but maybe they should do less mudslinging. Why don't you have a look at the damage your friends Lini and Ben have done? Why don't you have a look at the damage your friend Lee is doing? Because people are feeling like he's under a demonic possession when it is all fake. Yet you promote that shit. In fact, you called him fake, and then when he grew a bit more, you went back to him. Like, oh, I was a bit harsh. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. You tried your own ghost hunts, and they didn't do so well, so you jumped straight back on Really Haunted. But then, Laney and Ben, your friends, put out a thumbnail that you don't like, and then you drop that comment on Twitter, knowing, along with Jasko, that that would negatively impact Laney and Ben, because it shows you the mecca of the paranormal in a negative light. Casper Sight, you are not the mecca or the god of the UK paranormal. All you do is react to scary videos. Simple as that. Now, if you want to see debunkers, oh, fucking anyone can do that. I roll. Anyone can react to scary videos. Anyone can jump about like a toddler. Anyone can wave their arms in the air. And everyone can say things like, that's what she said. <laughs> because everyone does it. Everyone does it in every aspect of their life. I had respect for you until this. This is a massive, massive controlling of the narrative. This coupled with the debunkers, the eye roll, honestly, you I had respect for you, and I quite enjoyed your content for a while. My daughter still enjoys your content, but you're controlling the narrative. And all you are is a reaction channel and a gaming and a gamer. You tried a couple of ghost hunts, fair play to you. I've done a couple of ghost hunts or paranormal investigations because mine were more real based. I mean, the one where you were stood by those statues or a, a pond, whatever it was, and all your equipment's kicking off and you're jumping about like a toddler. Yay, look at this. Oh, guys, guys, guys. You were live streaming on Twitch. Your phone was pumping out a phone signal constantly. That's what was triggering your equipment. And I gave you the benefit of the doubt. And I was like, maybe you didn't know. Of course you knew. Why wouldn't you know? Now, I try not to get this wound up. But Danny had two really good videos calling out some big names. And because Jasko and Casper Soy stuck their oar in, those videos disappeared. I do apologise, but what happened to... Yeah, I think the bunkers have got a right at some point, but they are party poopers. We're not getting the right here. We're getting silenced. I won't be silenced. I have gone up against huge channels i have called out mindseed i have called out the twins i have gone up against really haunted i've gone up against danny i have gone up against proven demons 
I have gone up against Ghost Theory. And do you know what's happened to my channel? Nothing. Every time I call out somebody that... Every time I call out a channel that somebody loves, five or six people will leave. 30 will join. That's taking out the trash. If somebody doesn't want to be in this channel because I am calling out fakers and liars and controllers and manipulators because they like them, then stay with the controllers, the liars and the manipulators. I don't need you. My community doesn't need you. My community, I would say 20% of my community is made up of people that found out the Laney and Ben and Really Haunted were faking. And those people have become emotionally damaged, financially ripped off. And some of these people have sent me emails and I've read them out in my videos. So Kaspersite, if you see this and if you start to get angry, go back and watch my videos about the damage that these channels are doing to people's mental health and their pockets. People that are grieving. Because you do, for the most part, seem like a nice guy. And maybe your own pocket isn't more important than people's well-being. Because Laney and Ben didn't give a shit. Really Haunted still doesn't give a shit. Really Haunted is still negatively impacting people's health. People who have lost parents, sisters, their own kids are pumping money into his channel because they think they can learn from him on how to speak to their own dead relatives. These people are grieving. These people are vulnerable. But laughing boy Casper, sight, he's going to promote that. He wouldn't dare at a... At the bunker's name. I mean, Laney and Ben. They mentioned Parple's name until they trampled him into the ground. They've mentioned Mr. Grey. Why wouldn't they mention me? Wonder why. Um, oh, yes, because I was relentless and I don't work like Mr. Grey. I have the utmost respect for Mr. Grey. I enjoy Mr. Grey. I learn from Mr. Grey. But Mr. Grey debunks differently. He debunks videos. He stays out of the drama because it upsets him. It gets him angry if he gets involved in any of the drama. Last week, Mr. Grey did mention my name. Guess what? Brought into drama. Where did all that drama come from? Exploring with Danny. Because Danny told people that he'd spoken to me on Instagram. Slight problem. I don't have Instagram. So how did people react to that? How did people behave to that? Beardo's working with Danny. Mr. Grey said. No. No, 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 no. It's not what Mr. Grey said. Mr. Grey alluded to it from something that he read online. So just so you guys know, even if a faker turns into a debunker, I may find that interesting and post videos about it. I will never work with them. I will only ever work with a fake channel before I out them. I will happily go out on an investigation with anyone. And if I think they're faking, I will go out with them and try to catch them in the act while I'm investigating with them. And then I'll put a video out out in them because I don't care. Fake is fake. Take away the financial stuff. Take away the emotional manipulation. Take away all of that dark-rooted stuff. Everybody that fakes the paranormal is shitting on my belief. I believe in the paranormal. And every time Laney and Ben pull a string for a cupboard door to open, every time Really Haunted makes his hoover float, Every time Yas goes getting stalked by random or to go with the same phone he finds in every video with the same crack in the screen or the same number taped to the back, it does damage to the real paranormal. Casper Sighter sat there and said I had a bad childhood and my mother my mother was into tarot cards and all this. We've had a falling out. I feel for you. I really do. But it's because of all that you should be more careful about what you're featuring. For example, Smith Paranormal put out a fake video. A top five channel got hold of it claimed it was real you watched it claimed it was real you overreacted to it smith then told you hey that's mine and it's fake where's the update where is the update video to say that video that you were screaming about the shadow in the basement where is your update to say actually that is a debunker that's posted that he's recreated stuff that other people are doing where is it you can't put that out because that would um shine a light on smith as a debunker which would in turn shine a light on me because me and Smith speak quite often. It would shine a light on other channels that are highlighting the bullshit and the fakery. And before anyone says, hey, Casper Sight wouldn't know who Danny is, Casper Sight knows exactly who Danny is. He featured Danny's one of Danny's videos. He featured one of Danny's videos a couple of years back. Danny got massive views off it. Casper Sight got massive views off it. So don't let these fake smiles, fake laughter, and that's what she said, and all of his other catchphrases and loud shirts. I mean, all right, I wear loud shirts. 
Don't let that fool you into thinking that he is that naive into believing everything. Because I have seen him react to enough fake stuff, be told it's fake, and never ever put that right. That is him controlling the narrative to line his pockets. And as for him silencing Ben, I mean, really? That's one of your friends. You guys are friends. I've had people ask me to debunk channels, and I have had top five channels try to get me to turn on other top five channels. Hi, Goose Pimples. While we're at it, and I'm setting fire to the world, everyone remembers Goose Pimples being in my com in my community, Goose Pimples leaving comments, and then Goose Pimples siding with Lady and Ben, and me saying, that's it, I'm done with the guy. And then I said, he helped me, but F him. I can't work with somebody that will align with the fakers. And I messaged him afterwards, and I was like, look, I'm sorry I did it the way I did it, but I can't be any other way. And he was like, it's cool, I respect it. And then I realised what he was really doing. While he was helping me and asking me about my analytics and asking me about my clicks per my clicks per view and how the video was performing and you know a lot of stuff like that, he specifically asked me things like, "How are the versus videos going? What's the click through rate? What's it like when you put them on the left, you on the right?" We went into depth. I told him everything. Lo and behold, Laney and Ben, paranormal YouTubers stealing content from each other with the verses on there. I've already called them out for this, but I forgot the Goose Pimples was feeding them this. Now, they've changed some of their thumbnails because all of the verses ones, after I called them out for stealing my ideas, have gone. They've only left one. So then yesterday, Ben brings up another video. This channel is going to be deleted in seven days. He's on about exploring with Danny again. Six o'clock this morning, Danny's channel had the debunking video put back on when he sat in his house and he's like, I can show you this, I can call out this, that, the other. And the second video where he's actually gone out into the haunted house that he's been doing with other channels and all the rest. He was back on. I've looked now. It's only Danny fans. Danny running around with his top off. Where's he gone? Magnet fishing. Exploring a beautiful waterfall. Dogman forest. NB. NB. I had conversations with Danny on a live stream, and everyone that watches my videos will be able to attest to it. And in those video, and in, in that live stream, I said, I don't like what you did there with the spirit box. And Danny said, I've made mistakes. Yeah, he's taken down all the debunking that shows the fake bullshit that's out there, but he's made sure that NB stuff is still on his channel. Why? 26k views and 28k views. Unfortunately, his debunking struggled to get 2k views ago. That's why he's deleted it. It's got nothing to do with his um, disgust with fakers. It's got nothing to do with his disgust for the paranormal. It's all about them views. And this is why, Danny, I never welcomed you with open arms. This is why I was always... People said I looked uncomfortable when you came into my live streams. And I did. Because to a degree, I didn't want you in there. But then another degree... I'm like, do you know what? He has behaved far better than anyone else I've ever called out. He's been polite. He's been respectful. He's apologized. He's told me he's a fan of my content, which is bizarre. And I caught a bit of his live stream where he discussed my channel. And then I became acutely aware he hasn't watched my channel. He's not a big fan. He's seen my figures and thought, holy shit, if this small channel with 3K subscribers, when I mean, we head into 4K... This channel that's heading to 4,000 subscribers is averaging 3 to 4k viewers every time he debunks somebody. I want it. The small channel, this tiny channel, he's getting 3k views a video. He's getting a lot of likes. He's getting hundreds of comments every video. Hang on. I do that with 208,000 subscribers. But it didn't work like that. I'm trying not to have too much of a go because Danny, in I mean, it was in front of 200 people, told me of some very tragic events in his life. And genuinely, that changed my opinion on Danny. I instantly felt sorry for him, and I instantly had some regret about the way I spoke about him. Then at the same point, while he claims he regrets some things he's done, they are the only videos that are left on his channel. This is the most work that I've been in quite some time. A lot of people are going to look at my ghost theory stuff and be like, fuck, he was calm as shit there. And they called him mood. They called him names. They came after him. Why are you so worked up now? I am so worked up now because these 
massive channels, Yasko and Kaspersite, are silencing people that speak out against the fakers. They are silencing people that are highlighting us to bunkers. Even an accident, because Ben's a bit of an idiot and didn't realise what he was doing. Because Kaspersite and Jack's, Jasko, their concern isn't Laney and Ben's fans watching that and thinking, oh, Kaspersite, you naughty boy. They're more concerned that they're going to go and watch Exploring with Danny. See him trash Kaspersite in one of his videos that's no longer available. And then see him shout out, Beardo gets scared. So what happens then? Those people start to watch Beardo gets scared. Hang on, this guy's done a video on, oh my gosh, let's have a look at that. Oh my gosh, he's faking, he's caught him outright. Oh my god, really haunted. He's caught him as well. Ben can't have all of his viewers or any of his viewers finding my channel and seeing me pulling Lee apart, see me pulling Lee and Ben apart because they share a very similar audience. Now, for anyone who thinks I'm committing channel suit, su to anyone who thinks I'm killing my channel here, no, I'm not. I've got a completely different audience to these guys. My audience is my audience is made up predominantly of people that cannot stand really haunted, Laney and Ben, and all the other channels I call out. And then I get the emails. The emails where people have nearly ended it all because of content creators. I am not egotistical enough to say that I have made an impact on people's lives, that I have helped people, that I have made a difference to people's lives. But people have told me in emails and comments that I have helped them. I have saved them from irre irreversible mistakes because of Lee, because of Laney and Ben, which will then bleed into because of Mindseed, because of all of these channels that are pumping out fake content. Now, I also need to say, I don't think Jasco, Mindseed, Paranormies, I don't think any of them any of those fake channels are anywhere near as bad as what Really Haunted and Laney and Ben do. Because A, they do it from their own home, so it costs them nothing. And they rake it in. But they make it personal, like they're under attack. They get psychic mediums involved and make-believe priests that have been dead for 35 years. Oh no, that was, that was Smug Puppy, who's taking all his comments down. These people have done damage. And it pisses me off. Caspersite, if... If by any chance you see this video, don't ignore it. Don't put out a video shitting on me because all you'll do is send more viewers my way. They'll start with hate and they'll start with calling me a piece of shit, but then they'll see something fake in one of those videos and they'll come back to me and say sorry, like a lot of people in this channel have. And they welcome here. As long as they're not rude, argue with me constructively. But Caspersite, look at my old videos, please, and look at the damage that Lini and Ben and Really Haunted are doing. That's the worst end of the scale. People like Proving Demons, he's on another level. He, he's not in the same bracket as Lenny and Ben because he's not as personal. However, he does like to smack people's skulls with sticks while they're resting in their graves. So now I've got all that off my chest, I feel a lot better. I had to say, this shit has been eating at me all week. But on YouTube to watch some of my friends' channels and despite not being subscribed to any of these fakers, it's getting recommended to me. People that have come into my channel throwing hate that I have banned from the channel are getting recommended. And I'm like, oh, come on, YouTube, really? You are forcing this crap down our necks as much as they are. When you start promoting some real people, why don't any of these top five channels feature real channels? Why can't they feature the Weege Brothers? Why can't they feature Ghosts on Trent? Why can't they feature Dead Cold Paranormal, Dorset Paranormal? Why can't they feature Broken Capital, Exploring the Entity? Why is it always the same people? And do you know what's really weird? Me and Ghost Theory go at it. They keep commenting, they call me names, I put out a video. A week later, they featured on Casper site. And I was the guy that was sat there going, he doesn't know who I am, he doesn't give a shit who I am, it's coincidence. Was it? Because Caspersite seems really, really unnerved and really, really worried about the bunkers. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. If you're going to argue with me, and I think many of you will, make sure you're respectful. Because if you're not, it'll get deleted. We are at a point where I have had to bring in moderators to the channel because I don't want new subscribers coming in and seeing World War 3 in my comment section. I'm a polarizing figure. I get it. Very small on YouTube. I'm polarizing. I get that. 
if you're going to come in here and you're going to be dropping C-bombs and if you're going to be shouting F you at everyone that disagrees with you, you're gone. If you're going to come in here and call me a fat idiot and say Beardo, you are so wrong because Smug Puppy would never lie. Just get out. Don't bother. I can't be asked to argue with stupid anymore. To the rest of you, Beardos, Weirdos, all the love in the world to you guys. We're nearly at 4K. Nearly. How, how mad is that? Nearly at 4K. Because some tubby dude with a bad attitude likes to shout at fakers. Much love to you all. Beardo, out.